Hey guys, Coach Kev from Structure Personal Fitness, providing you with, uh, I believe, our 10 simple truths within the health and fitness industry. And uh, kind of just cutting through the bullshit. A lot of people have a lot to say um, regarding making things complicated, regarding um, some of the myths in fitness. And what I wanted to do today was kind of take a look at 10 simple truths. Just being honest, transparent, and open with you uh, about the, the basically the fitness industry and the health industry. Um, before I continue, if you haven't taken a look at videos one, two, uh, excuse me, one through eight, uh, make sure you do so. You're gonna find out why I crossed out the following phrases. One, punishment. Two, pain. Three, calling yourself lazy. Four, having financial limitations as an excuse to not be uh, in, in uh, the right shape. Number five, inspiration. Number six, all or nothing. Number seven, insanity. And number eight, complicated. Now, for number nine, um, this is one of the more common um, uh, themes that I hear. And this goes back to something I talked about before about this all or nothing approach. The magic number I think you need to get to know is not 100%. I don't think you need to be 100% compliant in a 365 day span with, um, uh, with your diet, with working out, with, um, uh, with just about anything. I think uh, for most people, having 100% um, compliance in everything that you do is, uh, is gonna be challenging. And I, and I wanna be real with you in a set for a second and say um, having a life and being able to enjoy um, a birthday cake, being able to enjoy uh, a special meal um, with a loved one, uh, being able to enjoy life. It's, it's, it's more important than uh, being 100% compliant because you say you did. Now, if you're gonna do a fitness competition, that's a whole different story, I'm not talking to you. If you're gonna do a marathon, whole different story, still not talking to you. Uh, I'm talking about the people that, for, um, that are trying to level up from I work out three times a week, now what? Uh, I'm, t I'm talking about taking your nutrition, your compliance to the next level and saying that 100% uh, of the time you don't have to be compliant. That is an absolute lie and I don't think that's, that's actually feasible over the long term. Uh, one of the words that we use um, quite frequently is this concept of sustenance. I want you to be able to participate in health and fitness, to feel comfortable, to feel confident with the health uh, choices that you make on a weekly, on a daily, on a monthly, on a yearly basis to know that over time you're going to be able to sustain this whole concept of what it means for you to be healthy, not what it means for me. Completely different situation. Um, so I want to go over this number. 100% of the time you do not have to be compliant with um, your nutrition and your workouts. If you miss one workout out of five or if you have a bad workout out of five uh, but your other four ones are decent and maybe you have your sixth workout that's amazing, Good for you. Um, that takes a lot more courage to understand that not every workout is going to be fantastic. Not every meal is going to be perfectly compliant. And I think the biggest number that I want you to, to get to know is not 100%. So I'm going to cross that off. And I'm going to go with, from a nutritional standpoint, it's 80%. I think if you can go 80% of the time uh, and get the things that you need from Whole Food and get the things that you need um, from um, uh, either meal prep or your local deli or um, a meal um, uh, pre preparation service, however you, however you want to look at it. But if you can understand that 100% of the time compliance, 100% compliance is usually not uh, sustainable um, and you can still be successful being compliant 80% of the time, including uh, maybe 10% of other time supplementing with protein shakes, with protein bars, um, at least uh, like Quest bars and some of the other ones. Um, but 100% of the time you do not have to be compliant. Um, I want you to be able to enjoy life. I want you to be able to participate in this health and fitness journey, not just for three months, not just for nine months, uh, for whatever transformation. I want you to be able to enjoy working out and to participate in this uh, experience that I've had since the age of 12 and being able to progressively push yourself and understand that 80% of the time, um, if you can be compliant, you're going you're gonna to look close to the way you look. And if you at some point or another need to ramp up another 10% in order to lose some body fat here, in order to be ready to fit in a suit, etc., cetera, um, some sort of special event, fine. But if you can, if you can maintain 80%, um, which I think you can, uh, I think you're going to have a higher uh, success rate in feeling um, both rewarded by fitness, but also feeling confident um, in that you can maintain it. Um, the, this concept of falling off the wagon and, uh, well, I'll start again next week. Listen, you can have a bad meal. There are ways to fix it. Uh, we've gone over intermittent fasting before, um, and I think that's a, a, a very good topic. Um, but understanding this concept, 80% of the time, if you eat uh, well, according to things that you know you need to eat, um, eating whole foods, not necessarily packaged foods, and processed foods, and all this other stuff, drinking enough water, 
uh, 80% of the time, if you do those things, um, I think you're gonna find yourself successful. And I think you're gonna find yourself more likely to, to continue on this journey and less likely to just throw in the towel and say, oh, I fell off the wagon. I'm gonna start again in 2016. I'm gonna start again after the summer. Stop it right now. 80% of the time doesn't mean that you need to uh, um, give up uh, your whole life and not enjoy the summer and all this other stuff. If you have a special event, completely different. Go to that 100%, not talking to you. But if you're looking to enjoy life and participate in life, um, then you need to understand this number, 80%, not 100%.